Hey, welcome to Film Dirt, guys. We're here to see the first omen. Let the horror begin. <clears throat> Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, just firstly to declare, as always, I paid for my own ticket to see this film. This is a non sure channel. Okay, so, was the first omen any good? I think it was, surprisingly. I kind of, I don't know what I was kind of expecting. The, um, the trailers gave off good vibes, as you probably saw from my trailer review. There was an issue I was kind of worried about that it may be a bit too similar in style to The Omen 2006. But it really wasn't. It looked like it was a 70s film. It did link in well as a prequel to the original movie. And also it looked like it was shot on film rather than digital. It had that filmic look. It wasn't too uh, razor sharp like digital film can be. There was that soft, very fine grain uh, glow as well, in kind of amber hues, and it made the film look really quite beautiful. So I don't know if they actually shot on film or if they used uh, some clever digital filters to give it that look, but to me it looked more 70s than a modern film. I mentioned that the 2006 reboot kind of had you know, unnatural camera movements and it did look a little bit waxy at times, but I'm glad this film didn't really follow that look. Because as we've all said before, the original film does now look like a 70s film. It's got that old time look. And this new movie didn't really have those unnatural movements and the camera always zooming in and panning and moving. It was very simply filmed. And that was a very welcome aspect for me. Okay, it linked into the first home, actually, this is the first Omen, <laughs> the original Omen movie. I'll refer to it as Omen 1 from now on. Okay, it does link into Omen 1 more than I thought it would. There was some talk that they were going to do away with the origin story of Damien's birth. But they kind of retain it, although it's not 100% clear. The jackal is mentioned and that the mating ritual is with something not human. And what they're doing here is that they're trying to force the birth of the Antichrist. Obviously it's a demonic church here, or variation of a church. And by having these constant rituals, sooner or later, they'll hopefully have the birth of a male child, which will be the Antichrist. And we're going through all these previous uh, female births, uh, you know, deformed and failed experiments, as it were, with lots of girls called Skiana. I wasn't quite completely clear on, on the, uh, the aspect of that. But they're not only trying to force the birth, there is the presence of the three sixes mark, which seems to be on more than one person. And uh, I'm assuming these are helpers. So this is not as clear as it was played out in Omen 1. And that leads me on to just commenting on the characters here. There's a lot of girls here in the nunnery, all of similar ages, and I'm wondering which is the one that is going to birth the Antichrist. It led us to realise that a lot of these are going to be red herrings. All these fouled births of deformed babies and you know all these rituals they were doing it was just from one girl after another and made me wonder which one it could be. Of course it was Margaret, played by Nell Tiger Free, who I think delivered a, an amazing performance. And even though she was the mother of Damien, she seemed to be the most normal of the bunch, not demonic at all like all the other girls were. So that was a, an interesting angle, which definitely made her the protagonist because it was always her shocked expressions at the right moments of the film. She was definitely the eyes and ears of the audience, even though it was her that was to deliver the ultimate evil. I don't recall if she ever had a 666 mark on her. I don't think she did. She seemed to be the only one that didn't have one, which was, I guess that is the ultimate red herring, isn't it? But as we're trying to uncover the mystery, 
with Father Brennan, who of course has played in the original by Patrick Troughton and here by Ralph Innocen. Two amazing performances, I have to say, in both films. We discover that it isn't really a birth from a jackal. Damien's mother was apparently born from a jackal. So that's uh, one generation before. So Omen 1 covers that metaphorically rather than you know, factually accurate. But it is a horror film and they're trying to introduce a new aspect to the story. I think it works really, but I just wish it was a little bit more simple. We've got a few generations covered here. We've got lots of girls all called Skiana. Lots of birthmarks, lots of red herrings and I I just wish that we followed more with the the origin that we alluded at in Omen 1. But fortunately, most of this story does kind of land. It is all very creepy, lots of demonic imagery, and there are jump scares, lots of people standing behind each other, you know, putting hands on shoulders, lots of faces in the dark screaming. The original movie was much more subtle. I don't recall there being any jump scares. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, there wasn't any real jump scares in all of the original three Omen films, was there? I don't recall it. That horror was uh, psychological and in your mind rather than blasted at you suddenly on screen. So I wish they did follow that formula rather than relying on a lot of jump scares here. The other members of the cast, just brilliant. Charles Dance was brilliant in the opening scene. Uh, Bill Nye, again, very good. All the actresses that played the nuns and, and of course Sonia Braga as Sister Silva, really quite brilliant and very, very creepy and nothing really hammed up for the camera and very well directed by Arkasha Stevenson, which is, I believe is a, a debut feature for her. I only wish they tightened up a little bit on the story just to simplify a little bit more of the, uh, the origins of this uh, ritual they're trying to perform. And I get that they didn't really want to show the, the jackal aspect of the birth. That's probably just a little bit too much horror. It kind of brings into question what happened in Omen 1. In the graveyard scenes, there was two graves. The one with the mother had uh, the skeleton of a jackal in it. And of course, the baby, uh, the child, the real child from Robert Thorne was in the other grave. So those two are just random corpses, really unless they've held on to them for a while and dumped them there. And also the mother is referred to, I believe it was Maria Schiana. And Margaret is not Maria. I don't recall there being a Maria in the first omen. So I don't quite understand what they've done there. And I guess when you're talking about uh, past events, they don't really have to follow 100%. But I just wish it was a little bit closer because at the end of this movie, we do tie into uh, Omen 1. There's that great moment where we see the photo of Gregory Peck as Robert Thorne. So I thought, brilliant. That was, that was the moment I just wanted to <laughs> reassure me that we were following Omen 1. And in mentioning the ending, it just took forever, didn't it? It just wouldn't end. We've now got twins born, one man and one female. And... The mother is keeping the, the female. She gets stabbed, but she survives. Just lots of moments thrown in here. A lot of slow-mo. And I'm pretty sure it just added another unnecessary 20 minutes to the movie. And I thought overall it was good. You know, I can't knock it too much, but I just wish it was just more tightly focused. One thing seemed to happen after another, which didn't really affect the ending, which was Margaret getting away with her daughter which wasn't really referenced again by Brennan in Omen 1. So with all that, I really did like it. It was a pleasant surprise. And let's give it a score. I'm going to give it four stars. I think it was about a two-hour runtime, probably just under, and I was thoroughly entertained throughout. Entertained more than scared. It didn't scare me as much as Omen 1, but it, apart from the jump scares. <laughs> okay, thanks again for joining me for this review. And of course, why not check out all my other Omen reviews? I'll put the links in the description below. Speak to you all again next time. Like and subscribe. You know the drill. All the best and take care.